Hey guys, your boy Wall here. Hope you're all some people all right. Um, just going to make a little vid for you guys, doing a few battles. Um, kind of line them up and it's it's just all gone a bit wrong really. This was the first one. Took School Grim and the Maidens. It was a, um, a Matano defence. And yeah, they took it out. Did it very nicely. And then I came to this one and I decided to take the Maidens um, to start with and that was just a complete and utter whitewash. Nowhere near even, not even close. Then I took the Dega uh, with, all cap, with all cap boosts um, and yeah, the Grenadiers, it's a... Um, can't think what the titan's called now like the the four star fire champion and he's obviously just got all um well, we can't see but he's got yeah he's got good relics on there for them um they've got like 192 percent um they got a lot of they're pretty buffed um so what i decided to do was give ladega less power um but make her 98% fire resistant and everything I've tried has basically not worked I've lost about five times against this garrison um, she got hit she got stuck in one of those um, lightning storms which didn't help either um, that actually um, didn't help so I'm just trying to think of um, I'm just trying to think of a way I can actually beat this because I hate coming across defences that I can't beat. And the only way I can think about doing it is taking um, some shield spells. And possibly some... And three terrors. We take the panthers... The stats are okay. They've still got a pretty. They're still doing pretty nice damage. I mean, the seventy-five percent crit chance means they're going to be doing roughly sort of three k damage every hit. Um, but it wasn't even. I came close with the last one, but she got stuck in um, the lightning storm. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it one more time, and see if I can actually do it. And then I'm going to be um, going out and we're going to be using the Maidens. And let's see if I can do it this time. I came close last time, but... Dig up, start shooting my deer. Just the only way I can think of doing it. This is what I could really do with another shield spell. She's going to get busted by this lightning storm. Damn it. Oh, so close as well. One hit and she's gone. She's toast. Come on, the dagger. Come on. She, she take one more shot, maybe. 
Come on, the dig out, shoot! <laughs> oh, I've finally done it. Uh, that's the only way I could actually do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, finally beaten it. Yeah, that's the only way I could think of doing it. Um, and I kind of like this, really, because, well, because since I've started my own alliance, um, obviously started off at the lower uh, at the lower leagues when I was more used to being sort of um, in Legends League. And I've just got quite lazy. I've realised that I've got actually quite lazy using the Degar because um, the majority of the garrisons, or, or well, not really garrisons, but the majority of the lands and the defences I was going against um, was just... I was just having to press auto orders and letting the cats do all the work. So it's nice when I come across a defence um, that where you have to kind of you have to really sort of think the relics through, you have to think the spells through, and yeah, you have to really think um, uh, strategically. Um, I'm going to be hundred percent honest. I've lost against this once with Skullgrim. And as I say, Ledega's lost at least four times against this defense. And as you can see then, it was very, very, it was very, very close to the wire. It could have kind of gone either way. Um, but yeah, we did get it in the end. The other defense was, was this one. And I think it's a... Not really too sure, but it might be a. I would. I'm going to go with probably a Mamesh defense, and the problem with these Mamesh defenses is, um, they're either going to be. I normally find that they're either really good, um, grenadier skills or they're really good cat skills, and some people get really lucky and they've actually got a mixture of both. In which case, the Panthers are incredibly hard to take out. Um, but we're going to try it. Um, this is an X skill Titan. It's maxed as well. Um, but they're only level 22 troops. Not sure what... I'm not really too sure what spells to take. Because um, I think I'll definitely take a couple of shield. Um, I think I'll take a couple of rage. And I'll take a couple of terror. We'll take all Panthers again. Um, we'll keep Ladega with um, the high fire resist, just in case it is. Um, it's interesting now that you can't actually see which defence you're actually going up against. And it is a um, fire defence. So I'm glad that I took the spells that I did. And I think we stand a chance, but obviously there's going to be Panthers coming in and they're either going to be really highly buffed damage wise or they're going to be really defensively buffed one of the two and so it's these are never easy defenses from that lightning as well. Nice to keep some of these panthers alive. She's struggling to take out these um this last panther. See how she does. Well, that was surprisingly easy, actually. Now, 
Uh, what hasn't she taken out? Oh, wow! Okay, so we got some more, and now that she's actually been... Go on, the digger. Take it down, my darling. Yeah, she's got this. Yeah, that's what I like about the digger. She's a good all-round titan. Um... If I come across a hard defence, she's my go-to. Um, because normally, if even if I lose against the defence, um, I've ne or that I might lose. I don't know. I might come across a defence where I've lost like sort of five times in a row, um, and then I'll go away or think about it, and I'll always find a way. I mean, that last defence, I didn't think, I didn't think I was going to be able to do it, and then of course I thought. You know, take some shield spells. It's it's the um, it's the obvious it's the obvious one. So we've done um, yes, yeah, so we've done all we've done all those videos. Um, and it would be nice to actually. Yeah, we've done all them. Um, let's see if we can. Let's see if we can find um, a nice one for schoolroom to take out. Just to use the maidens, got them up to level sixteen now. They're just on their way to level seventeen. Um, they're doing, uh, they're doing quite nice damage. The critical chance is pretty rubbish, um, and the panthers are actually more powerful because their critical chance is well. I can have it over a hundred, or I can have it at ninety five. I choose to have it about ninety five percent. That's good enough for me. So they're doing over five k damage per hit anyway, um, and when you when you actually add in their charge damage as well. Um, not really too sure exactly what their damage is, but they're pretty good. I prefer them personally, but we're going to be going out using the Maidens. We'll take, a, we'll take three cats. Not got many left now because I've lost so many times against that first garrison. And what was... Um, how many Grenadiers is there? There's three Grenadiers, so we'll take... We take three fireball, and we take three terror, and yeah, let's just watch the maidens destroy stuff, throwing their little um, lightning axes. Yeah, so big shout out to um, rank one rise for letting me um, actually message the um, their leader, um, just to ask if they minded if I um. Well, I just basically said I'm making a video for my YouTube channel, and that I'm not, you know, I'm not being an arsehole. And she, um, it's like she messaged back, and she said, "Yeah, that's fine, no worries." So, yeah, big shout out to you uh, for letting me use your defense. Let's just take Skullrim straight in there and get that one taken out. And then we we'll pull him back and let the maidens do some work, I suppose. Come on, start shooting then. Yeah, they're, 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 they're quite a bit of fun to use, the maidens, I'll, I'll be honest there. It's added, definitely added um, something new to the game, which was needed. And I don't think it's taken too much away from the Panthers either, which is good. Yeah, those um, high level, the new um, lightning storm spell is very, very effective against rangers. I mean, anyone with a two star or three star ranger gets caught in one of those, that it will kill, it definitely kill them. Uh, it was the reason that I actually lost um, so many times against that last one, because I took Ledega with 98% fire resist, annoying. Yeah, I took the dagger with 98% uh, fire resist, but yeah, they're not even going to get near them. Now we got some cats coming in. Cats are no problems for them at all. Let's call them to go around there. 
There's always something hiding in that bush, waiting to spring out. It's probably a panther. Oh, it's not. Oh, and they, they've actually just shredded them schoolroom straight away. Yeah, so it's just a short video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to give a big shout out again to, to Rank 1, um, Rise, for letting me sort of um, make a video using their defences. Yeah, big shout out to you. And um, uh, yeah, big sh shout out to Wim of Orange. Awesome name. Yeah, awesome name. <laughs> Uh, definitely original yeah so big shout out to you for um yeah for letting me um for letting me use your defenses to make a video that's really sweet of you and i suppose we should talk about the latest event just just very quickly i'll just sort of take you through it um give you my opinions on it um i think as i said in the last video they being the the sort of reward structure is um, is getting less aimed at free to play players. I've noticed that the the storm tokens are now uh, rather we normally had by about five hundred souls we could normally collect two um, soul tokens. Now you're having to grind to two thousand souls um, or maybe just under. To actually get that second token so they're making it slightly harder for the free to play player um, but all respect to them for the fact that they that you actually still can be a free to play player um, and coming from I mean I've been playing since last summer coming from someone who spent a lot on the game in the beginning I I now don't spend any money on the game um, those gems there I've saved up um, those tokens I've saved up and that's I've only say it's only taken me since the school grim event to to save those as well. So another couple of weeks and I'll be ready to you know I'll be able to get to sort of fifteen, sixteen thousand souls. So yeah, so it's in a way it's it, they've made it harder for the free to play player, um, but it's still very um, it's still very doable. And so and I find that actually winning the Titans for free is um, I find it a lot more satisfying. And also, if you do, when you don't spend money on the game and you win these Titans, like the latest two Titans that I won for free are uh, Malcor, he was free. Um, Skullgrim did that event, got him for free. Um, Sulza, he was free. Um, Ledega, I wanted really badly, um, and so I did buy her. And I think Ishka... Uh, Basasi, Basasi, Basasi was another free one as well, and so as you can see, my I've not got anywhere near as many four stars as I used to have. I've just got rid of the ones that I'm not going to bother working on, and just basically chuck them all into these guys, um, so that I can actually start using them all. So apart from the Dega, who's maxed, the others are sort of on their way to sort of um, to get in there. I suppose the one that's probably least that I'm least bothered about is a talus, but I'm sure I'll get round to him at some point, and hopefully they'll kind of change it a little bit so to make it a little bit easier for us guys to level these titans up, so that we can actually enjoy playing them. But that's my that's my take on it anyway. Um, right, I'll catch you guys on the next vid. Have a good time, guys. Bye.